after that crash, having to make a change here, and it's not going as planned. And now Dylan van Bala on the attack. Ball breaking up at the front, though. Vermeersk loses contact. Matilo there. What a performance this is from the young man from Britain. And Wellens, he's looking really good. He's taking Mohoric with him, though. But look at Almondori. Bombala wins. Kapeki though was floating up the iconic climb. But as they hit the cobblestones, last year's winner of the Ronde van Vlaanderen attacked Sierra as the former Belgian champion came in to kick off her road season in emphatic fashion. Trouble will build. For Hoidonk has gone to work. But here's the chaser, and it's rare to see one of the big sprinters doing this, isn't it? Christophe Laporte, who's following Fanart right now. Caleb Ewan, who's trying to do that as well. But this is a big move from Wat Fanart, reminiscent of what we saw a couple of years ago. From Fumbala to Benoit to Vanat. Is this time going to be for Laporte? Keen Twivel Kim in Flanders Fields is won by Jumbo Visma. And Christophe Laporte is the first French winner of Keen Twivel Kim in over a quarter of a century. Let's go, sir. And we're all in. The greatest number ever in the history of Gent Wevelgem for women. Winst for Roeser. Van der Sande and Die Spenot trying to blow it up again. Lascano. And still the breakaway is hanging on. Oh, you'd think he'd want a sprint, but he can try and go alone. It could be just one of those times for Christophe Laporte. Guardo Flandre goes to a Frenchman. Christophe Laporte has two from two.
273.5 kilometers, the Ronde van Vlaanderen from Bruges to Aldenaar. The break took six minutes. And along came Pogacar. And we were left with the big three. Now this time, an attack for the history books. Come on, campione. Destroy everyone. Uh, you are dropping by the pool already. You are yeah, dropping yeah, already. Yeah, yeah. All right, today. Come on, man. The best rider in the world wins the best race in the world. Today, Bogaccia arrives to inherit his crown. Because now we're on the Koppenberg, second year in succession. And a little bit of a problem for Lippert, and you see the oh, riders in the very front also struggling in that very, very front. Kopecky's not hanging around just yet, is she? They've got three of the four up front in this bike race. Leva's not much enjoying this one, is she? And Persico looks good. Kopecky goes for glory, and she's really putting Persico under intense difficulty. Victory in Tour of Flanders for a second successive year. Goes to SD Works. And to Lotte Kopecky can raise her arms in delight. The oldest bicycle race in Flanders. And this is the 100 Adam And it's still for the pool. This is quite the turn. They move left, they're about to go right and head in towards the final finish straight. Cavendish hits it through the centre. Mark Cavendish is down the right, they try to come around him. It's Philipser, Philipser, Philipson again. And Jasper Philipser has a second skill to press. The Brabant Sapel, the classic that has everything. Cavagna passes him. Can he get to the front? opportunity to go again and it's Ben Healy over the top of the head strat and Healy now looks the strongest it's Godon though has the power Healy can't do it Godon's gonna have it and Dorian Godon will win the Brown's appeal